Here we have another dipeptide. I'm just going to make a dipeptide for simplicity. We should see that this is glycine because it has a hydrogen side chain. And this is alanine because it has a methyl side chain. Okay, now this would give us no problems if we did total acid hydrolysis. If we did total acid hydrolysis on this, we would get glycine and we would get alanine. So we would know the components. And then maybe we could do it again with the Sanger's reagent and we would figure out which one was the N terminus. So this would be no problem. Wouldn't we do Sanger's before that though? Oh, yeah, you could have done that from the start. That's right. So if you do it without the Sanger's reagent, all this will tell you is the amino acids. Got if you do it with the Sanger's reagent, we'll know the amino acids and we'll know who came first. However, remember that the problem, problem is that N-termini and C-termini don't always look like this. Remember, for example, that a C-terminus could be an amide. C-termini can be modified to be amides. C-termini can be modified to be amides. By the way, this would be written as glycine, alanine, NH2. This is the notation to show that we've turned the, N, that turned the C terminus into an amide. C terminus can become an amide. an amide. So it's possible that the original peptide actually had an amide at the C terminus instead of a carboxy group. Now what are we going to get when we do total acid hydrolysis? Well, this bond will be hydrolyzed. But now this bond will also be hydrolyzed. Remember that all the amide bonds get hydrolyzed by total acid hydrolysis. So now the C-terminus itself will, so to speak, get hydrolyzed. Sorry, isn't that NH3 plus as well? On the... You're right. Okay. Because it's acidic conditions. Right. Okay. And now there's one more product I haven't shown. What's the other product of hydrolyzing this bond? NH4 plus. Right. And now the computer will say, aha, we have glycine, we have alanine, and we have ammonium. Is that part of our little... Anyway, this is just to show, this is why I was saying before, there, so where can this ammonium have come from? So this is why I was saying before that, uh, remember that we did our little arguments before that if you start with, um, if you uh, end up with Asperity. aspartic acid plus NH4 plus, you know you started with asparagine, say. But that was an oversimplification, because you could have just started with an amide on the carboxy end. All right, and this is a real complication that he likes to use on the problems. These problems are really quite difficult, so this is, not, uh, this is not unusual for him to put this in. So the point is, if you see an ammonium, where did it come from? Well, maybe the ammonium came from an asparagine that got hydrolyzed. Or maybe, It means that you started with a glutamine that got hydrolyzed. Or maybe you started with an amide on the carboxy end that got hydrolyzed. So now that's, uh, so you have to watch out. Ammoniums don't, do not always mean you started with asparagine or glutamine. It could also just mean that you had a amide at the carboxy end. Well, we won't end. have a mix of those, will we? You could. You could do any type of mix. And that would just mean that based on these clues, you wouldn't know exactly what you started with. And you'd have to say what the possibilities are. And then there would have to be other clues that you could use to work out exactly what you started with. So again, this is a progressive detective story. So ammonium by itself means, uh, well, so ammonium by itself could mean that you started with this, or you started with this, or you started with this. Now in this case, things would be very clear, because we don't have any aspartic acid or glutamic acid in our products. So we would know that we must have started with an amide carboxy end. However, what if we get this? Well, we don't really know whether we started with asparagine or we just started with aspartic acid and an amide at the carboxy end. There's just those two possibilities. We wouldn't be able to tell. Okay, this whole point was just to show that, oh, if we get NH4+, plus, we could have other things. It could have come from here. It could have come from here, or it could have come from here. Perfect. That's right. Thank you so much.